The Raiders quarterback Derek Carr currently leads the league in passing yards. But it's not just Derek Carr that's really allowing the Raiders offense to have success. A lot of credit needs to be given to his wide receivers, a lot of credit needs to be given to the running backs and tight ends, and a lot of credit needs to be given to coach John Gruden who is calling the offense and really doing a fantastic job. Take this simple concept on the bottom of your screen from second year wide receivers Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards. Henry Ruggs is going to basically rub number 27 or kind of get in his way and Brian Edwards is going to run a simple drag route. Now this play works because of Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs is going to run a simple out and he's going to really slow down number 27. Uh, watch this play and watch how Brian Edwards gets wide open. So from a design perspective, Ruggs gets right in front of number 27. That really slows him down and Edwards is able to get out in front. Now it's not just the concept. Derek Carr delivers a nice pass. The O-line does their thing. Uh, Brian Edwards catches the ball and more than that, Brian Edwards breaks a tackle. This play right here picks up so many more yards than it needed to. But this is what makes the Raiders playmakers special. Guys like Brian Edwards and Darren Waller and Henry Ruggs and Hunter Renfro and Foster Moreau and Kenyon Drake and Peyton Barber. Among guys like Josh Jacobs who's out and Jalen Richard who's out. Among those type of guys, the Raiders have so many weapons and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. We are going to talk about how Brian Edwards can catch a pass that should have been a three yard game because number 27 should have made this tackle. But Brian Edwards breaks that tackle and he ends up picking up so many more yards. He picks up almost 15 more yards than he should have. This is what the Raiders need from their playmakers and this is what they've gotten. This is what John Gruden has put together. A group of guys that can all make plays. And I'm gonna show you guys a ton of plays in which are very impressive if you ask me. I know a lot of people love Darren Waller, as do I, but I think the one guy that is almost unstoppable is a guy named Hunter Renfro. And tell me if you guys agree or disagree with that. Uh, but the way Renfro stems his route, it's so freaking impressive. Uh, now this route here specifically is going to be something like this uh, towards the end, uh, but there's so much more in this route than the simple in route that Renfro is going to end up running. Uh, it's actually really going to start right off the line and I'll slow it down so you guys can see it Renfro is going to take a quick step to his left and then he's going to come back to the inside and then he's going to give this uh, Corner one more step to the outside just just a small little step um, And then he's gonna bring this back to the inside once again the initial part of his route is so impressive the way he's able to get separation more so than anybody else is it's just impressive man i'm gonna let you guys watch this route i'm gonna stop talking so much here but it's gonna start right off the line he's gonna take the first step out he's gonna give the receiver or the corner another step out uh, towards the top of his route and then he comes back to the inside and that really allows that separation for hunter renfro uh, this play is pivotal for the raiders because the raiders have to keep this drive going Renfro takes that initial step, he gets upfield, he takes another step, and then he creates that separation. I mean, this corner has no room to really stop Renfro. Renfro's an unstoppable wide receiver, man. He gave it to Xavier Howard in this game. We heard about how he gave it to Jalen Ramsey in the past. Hunter Renfro, in my opinion, is such a hard player to cover. Uh, you know, what makes Renfro different than someone like Darren Waller? is the fact that Darren Waller is bigger than a lot of people, he's faster than a lot of people, but Waller's route running isn't the best, right? But it's okay, he, he can get away with that because of his length, his height, his speed. Uh, because most linebackers can't cover him and corners are, are typically too small. With Hunter Renfro, it's a whole different situation. Renfro beats people with his route running abilities. I mean, look at the separation he gets. This right here is so simple for Derek Carr, and there's a reason why Derek Carr loves throwing the ball to Hunter Renfro. This is just another one of our multiple playmakers. Moving forward to this next play, Hunter Renfro man-to-man -man coverage. Watch the different cuts that Renfro makes throughout his route. This is really impressive. Wide receivers don't typically do this, and again, for Derek Carr to like throw this pass up and Renfro to make that in-air adjustment and really bail out the Raiders offense, this is third down, man. Third and 10, third and long, and Derek Carr's pressured. He gets hit. You know, the Dolphins bring bring a, an extra uh, two guys. Um, Derek Carr takes a huge hit, and Renfro does a solid job creating that separation. Carr throws it up to Renfro. 
and third and Renfro, man, making those sliding catches, a beautiful job. And while we're with this one play, uh, I have a theory that I want to run by you guys. You know, this play, Kenyon Drake started the game and then he really was out of the game by the time the game ended. Like I barely saw Kenyon Drake play. And I believe this is the reason why. If you guys keep your eye on Kenyon Drake, you guys are going to see that a blitzing corner puts him down and is able to hit Derek Carr. And this isn't the only time this happened. This happened a couple of times. Now, I will say this. The Raiders need to utilize Drake in a different manner. He's not a pass blocker. That's not his game. I know sometimes running backs have to be able to pass block. Uh, but sometimes running backs just can't do it. You know, take Saquon Barkley as a perfect example. The guy just can't do it. Uh, when that's the case, put him in the slot and let him do something else. Either way, I just wanted to kind of uh, bring that up. Carr takes a hit. He lobs it up. And here's Hunter Ranfro, man, making that in-air adjustment and really just catching the ball, sliding, making a beautiful play. Let's jump into the next rep. Jumping into this next play, the Raiders are going to be in a tight trips right uh, you're going to get the three receivers here at the bottom of the screen and you guys are going to see that some uh one of these guys is going to fall and uh, basically you're going to see rugs get wide open and Derek Carr finds him and this is a good job by Derek to roll out get out of the pocket something that I criticized Derek for in the past and he's really stepped up today uh, he's really done a really nice job with uh, being able to get out of the pocket uh, as you guys are going to see in this play, watch as the wide receiver is going to get wide open. Um, there's the guy that falls and, and Waller kind of knocks him over. Uh, he kind of gets his uh, hands right to uh, Ruggs' helmet. If you guys look right there, right to the face. Um, but Ruggs is a good job really just getting right off of that. And the guy's completely off balance. And then obviously Waller kind of lays him out. Uh, but he's wide open. Wide open. And the thing is, is in the past i almost feel like either Derek carr wouldn't see rugs or rugs would catch this and he wouldn't get two feet in bounds i know this is a super simple and easy catch but i almost feel like last season we saw rugs wide open a number of times or maybe not wide open but uh car would deliver a pass and it would hit rugs in his hands on the sideline and he wouldn't be able to get his feet in bounds and i feel like in this this game and last game he was able to make these sideline grabs in fact he made two of these grabs in this game alone uh, but a huge shout out to Derek Carr man uh, the biggest criticism I've had of Derek was that he doesn't extend these plays when a play breaks down when his initial read isn't there he doesn't make that step to the right or to the left or he doesn't step up and that's not the case anymore man so far the difference in the first three games has been that Derek Carr is stepping up He's stepping out and rolling and really allowing his playmakers to, to create some separation, right? He's really extending those plays. And that's been the difference with the Raiders offense so far, in my opinion. Now, I mentioned John Gruden deserves some credit as well, and here's why. This is the second time he's going to design a player wide open. Keep your eye on Zay Jones. Zay Jones is going to go into motion, come back out. Derek Carr is going to hit him for a one-yard throw, and Zay Jones turns it into 15 yards, and then you get a penalty at the end. Um, but this play was designed. This is a design. You know, Zay Jones doesn't just decide that I'm going to go into motion and he doesn't just decide that I'm going to come back around. The Raiders understand that my, the Miami Dolphins blitz and play a ton of man to man coverage and they're going to use Renfro and Zay and they're going to basically just run. You know, it's kind of like a rub route, kind of like a pick route uh, you can call. But it's really not because you're kind of using 27's momentum against him. Isaiah Jones does a great job going to the inside, coming back to the outside. Again, it's literally a throw for one yard on third down. And Zay Jones, man, just he does what he has to do. Uh, John Gruden designed a similar play like this earlier in the game for Henry Ruggs. This is a six-yard pass that's going to go to Darren Waller for 16 yards. This is the difference between the Raiders last season and this season. And I'm not saying just from Darren Waller, just in general from all the different playmakers the Raiders have. Six yard throw. If the corner or linebacker there tackles Waller for six yards, it's just a six yard gain on second down. You're still looking at third and four, third and five. Uh, but Waller turns this into 16 yards. The yards after catch for the Raiders at the moment, it's fantastic, man. The Raiders currently have a group of guys in their receivers, running backs, fullbacks, tight ends that can pretty much be any player in the league one on one. And this makes the Raiders playmakers deadly. 
Derek Carr is getting it done. The O-line stepped up. Obviously, that's not what the general fan base thinks, but they played much better week three. They've pretty much gotten better from week one to two to three. And I'll do my video on Saturday so you guys can see the improvements that the offensive line has made. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time with another video.